तो सबसे पहले हम प्ले स्टोर पर जाते हैं तो आप निकशाला ऐप को प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं ये ऐप आपको दो चीज़ों में मदद करेगा पहला तो है यूनिवर्सिटी शॉर्टलिस्ट करने में दूसरा उस पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी पे जिस भी आपने सिलेक्ट किया है उस पर कैसे एप्लीकेशन होता है लिंक मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन दे दूंगा आप प्लीज़ डाउनलोड कर लीजिएगा तो इंटरफेस ऐसा कुछ दिखता है वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी गोट टॉक अबाउट होक शूले ऑफन बर्ग सो लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू अबेर अबाउट ऑफन बर्ग सो ऑफन बर्ग इज बेसिकली a very small city in the state of Baden-Württemberg with 60,000 inhabitant it's on the borders of France uh, one of the very famous city closest to Offenburg is Strasbourg which is just like right here 30 kilometers from okay, so before i start this video if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation anything first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and i will show up directly but something deep inside won't let me quit or guys so welcome back once again at the moment i'm at offenburg railway station i'm heading to uh, heading out of this station and then we'll start the campus tour as you get out of the station you will see uh, there are bus stops around here to go in the city right behind i also saw there is a zob uh, all the long distance buses they drop you right here in front of uh, the main station few important things we are not so far from strasbourg which is in france uh, we are very very close to the french border uh, if you go down south close to freiburg switzerland starts If you go towards inland, Ma. Stuttgart is not that far. Uh, roughly about one, one and a half hours. Welcome back once again. So today I'm here in the uh, Hochschule Offenburg. We'll be covering the campus today. I have a friend who's going to join us in the tour, and he's here to give us the campus tour. Also talk about how's life in general here in Offenburg. What sort of opportunities are you looking at with the education? What you're acquiring, and all sort of stuff. But make sure that if this is a video of your interest, uh, watch it till the end, and uh, let's start the video. I'm studying masters in process engineering right now here in Hochschule Offenburg. and i've been here since last one year okay and i had my bachelor's in chemical engineering um for the marks uh, i had like 81 percentage in my my degree mm -hmm. and then for for an admission here they checked the scores they checked ielts i gave an ielts with a score of 8 and nothing else no gre no toefl so mm -hmm. ielts was enough to get, uh, get an admission here when you came for the first time what route uh, did you take to get to offenburg Uh, I landed flight. in Frankfurt and Frankfurt to Offenburg at the train. You took IC. I see, yeah. Got it. Okay. And is there any alternative which you would suggest them? No, no, no. I would say because IC starts from Frankfurt Airport itself, and that's the best way to reach here without any changes from Frankfurt uh, Airport. You come straight away to Offenburg, and you don't need to go to Frankfurt Hauptbahnhof. Thus. So right now we are outside Mensa. Uh, this is where the cafeteria is, where usually people eat food. um lunch on the campus is pretty affordable it's not that expensive often times they also have a circular menu across the week from monday to friday they have a different meal what building is this a what a, it has the students from uh, communication and media engineering communication media engineering they study here yeah language course also so where are we standing right now this is the building b this is the place where i had my lectures and my masters in process engineering took place here 
It also has all the administrative offices here. So for all the faculties of communication and media engineering, let's say process engineering, bio, biotechnology engineering, all of them have their administrative offices here. The coordinators for this faculty sit here and the students need to contact them for right. anything that need. Like from the first day you arrive, you enter this building and all your documentations and things takes place here. The library is also there on the ground floor. The laboratories are there. What about student ID card? Do you get it from here? Yes, yeah, student ID card also we get in here. Okay. The first day we arrive, they check your they give you your immatriculation, and they check your registra registration in the city, and then they issue you an identity card. Got it. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took the red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how's it supposed to feel? What are the uh, English taught master's program here taught? They offer five master programs uh, One is process engineering Which is like to chemical engineering The second is masters in biotechnology engineering This is more of a, for biotechnology people uh, then they have communication and media engineering. Then for IT people, they have enterprise and IT security. And the next one is uh, power and data engineering. This is the E building, and here are the classes for PDE students takes place. That is power and data engineering. And also, when first we come here in Offenburg, for the first month we have summer language course. So the summer language course is super intensive German course for one month. And this is your building for one month when you initially arrive. Can you talk about uh, what are you studying exactly? Mm -hmm. uh, give us an insight about what subjects are you mm -hmm, studying right mm -hmm. now. So my program is a dual degree pro program. Mm -hmm. It's named as Masters in Process Engineering and Environmental Protection. Right. So here in Offenburg, we have our process engineering program, which mm -hmm. is for first six months, that is your first semester. And the second semester based on, which is environmental protection, for that the university sends you to Poland in Olsztyn, the, the city. They have this University of Warmi and Missouri with the which they are doing this collaboration. Mm -hmm. So at the end of my program, I have two degrees, one from here and one from there. And um, here I basically study more of in chemical intensive uh, subjects, uh, chemical engineering, let's say safety engineering, mm -hmm. like more into my stream. But when we move to Poland, it's more focused on environment. Um, subjects like um, water processing um, or like waste disposal and that kind of stuff. Can you quickly tell me what documents did you submit to get into this course? Mm -hmm. So firstly, like first thing to, is to know your course good. Mm -hmm. So for that, I will, we go to Hochschule website, Hochschule Offenbach website, they have an official website. And when you're reading about your course, let's say process engineering, so at the end you see a button like admission. Mm -hmm. And when you go there, there is this completely explained process. Um, you don't need to go it via Uniasis. They have their separate application uh, uh, for admission. Okay. It's called Oasis. Okay. And um, they tell you initially that you need to give your grades, what are you studying, and then they verify some internal verification happens. And then they inform you that yes, we are interested in your application. And then you have to send it by post to the university. And these documents include um, your degree, your uh, transcripts of record, mm -hmm. your IELTS, uh, the letter of your recommendation. Re recommendation from professors, letter of motivation. And when you send all this stuff, then the final ev evaluation takes place. And then on the portal, they say that yes or no. Okay. You, can, you always have a status on that portal that we are waiting for your documents, or we have received your documents and admission granted or rejected. Got it. Like Look at this massive thing right edges into the university campus like a real engine eh? yes oh my god and out of operation straight to hochschulofen <laughs> <laughs> hey take this gift <laughs> oh, man, dude. oh god look at this look at the details <laughs> shit man <laughs> Oh god, the wheel size is so 
hold that big one. <laughs> Um, what's what's the situation with part-time jobs here in Offenburg? Oh, part-time jobs. First thing, you need the German language, and like I think A2 is also fine. It's not a problem to get some normal working in a restaurant or there is this printing place they give work. So A2 is super fine with that, and um, there are plenty full of jobs for students. They have McDonald's, Burger King. Um, like you just need to search good, but. Uh, from my past experiences, I would like to say that don't rely on any one person or two person. Create your multiple sources of information. You have a career center here, then you have the newspapers, eBay. Always search for this stuff and stay informed better, I would say. What sort of income can we make it towards for, the end of the month? Yeah, like if you get a part-time job, I, I, I think that 700 to 800 euros is easily doable and that's Managing doable your studies. while your studies while are you're studying on. while you're studying and even you have free time like let's say christmas vacations i think that would be something 1200 or 1300 euros like wow. your time okay yeah. all right so after that campus tour i have come to the main city square i have a friend who's joining us hello to take it forward from here i'm doing masters in uh, media and communication engineering at hochschule offenburg and i did my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication and i'm from pune Right. How much did you score in bachelors? Uh, my German GPA was uh, 2.2. 2.2, yeah. So yeah, right behind me, this is what you see, this is house. Usually people don't go inside. This is just a central office for government of the city of Offenburg. Uh, if you want to get your city registration done, there is an office right opposite to the Rathaus. Uh, this is the building what you see city registration in general is a very important step whether you are a german or you're foreign national you're supposed to get this thing done and this is applied across germany's length and breadth now why is it important for you because without that paper you would not be able to unblock your blocked account and to have that unmelding done you need to have a with a house contract you take that house contract uh, along with the passport go to this office what we are about to show you the main entrance and then they will help you to they'll give you a piece of paper that you're a registered citizen in this city and then the rest of the procedure for the blocked account works from there on how is how's is life in general in offenburg for you as a uh, student actually offenburg is a small town and it's a uh, capital of Ottenau district. So uh, here we'll find a lot of uh, international students, uh, not not only from India, uh, but there there are some other exchange uh, students from Brazil, uh, Russia, and all other uh, countries. So that's the entrance. Um, for your remembrance, this is what I showed you. You come inside this lane, and this is where this office is, where you get your city registration done. Uh, where do people get their uh, visa extension done? Uh, there is uh, one office so beside this Burger Bureau, which is uh, Auslander Bureau, uh, where students can uh, extend their visas. Okay, let's go. So we're just going further from this office, uh, Brugamt, to Auslander Bureau yeah, further. So from the Brugamt, uh, we have just walked for like another like literally 45 seconds this is the office you will see again this is very important procedure if you are coming to Offenburg uh, because when you enter this country the visa which will be granted to you will only be for either three months or six months if your course is of two years then of course before that three months or six months visa is about to expire you come to this office with all your other documents uh, and then they will uh, extend your visa for further next whatever years uh, your studies are going to be what is the cost of living uh, for students here uh, for accommodation rent I'm paying uh, 290 euros mm -hmm. per month and other than uh, health insurance is mandatory yeah. uh, which costs around uh, 106 euros yeah uh, for food it is uh, 100 euros and for miscellaneous uh, it's 50 so uh, approximate uh, 600 euros per month. A month yeah? yeah. Can you name some dormitories where students are staying here? Uh, there are three dormitories uh, which, has, uh, which are offered by SWFR. Uh, first one is in St. Martin Strasse. 
uh, another one is uh, in uh, Goldgasse, which is near city center, and the new one, which is in uh, Zeringa Strasse. One more thing, the office of student in work, where you're supposed to go and talk to them in person if you want to, with respect to the housing or the contract or any of the issues related to the housing. Uh, in building number B, there is an office. They wanna say my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy.